Okay, story time. Uh, when I think of this time, it makes me uncomfortable. This story time, who this is about, of course, no names, but you're a nasty girl. Even to this day, it's not even any remorse when you know me like that, but you're, I, don't re- I don't respect you in the slightest. I'm not going to say hate. I don't hate anyone, but you're, you're a shapeshifter. You're fake, and I don't... <laughs> your life shit. I don't, I don't respect you. I don't... It's not like I like you or not, but it's just... That's what I'm thinking about. That Even to this day, it's been... Two and a half years, longer. You're nobody. You, you always will be nobody. Respectfully, respectfully. So I'm going to say in another therapy session about why it's because of nobody and everything. So you have to stay tuned for that. But basically... This is a story time of me, of course, keeping it real, 100, don't judge. <laughs> but when I was prepared to be engaged, and you've probably seen my other episodes, you know my stance on these things. I'm just so focused on myself and improvement, but I wasn't always like this. This was before my self-improvement journey, which began in January 2020. 2019, 2019 was a bad year, you know. With my chromes, man's running up escalators with shit out of his ass. Going to toilet like 15 times a day at some times. All this shit with X at the end. Broke up in August, September. Or, uh, very early October. Very early October. Again, video on all of that. All of that. All of that. Very, very soon. We're going to be in, sitting in there. It's going to be like two, two hours special about that girl and everything fuck you know don't you worry wow for that one wow that's gonna be the best episode ever but for now early october cool still at uni everything like that i was vulnerable i was trying to focus on myself first time for 20 months just under two years i was single seeing this person five six times a week I was vulnerable, so that's the context. I was very, very vulnerable. Weak as well. I wasn't how I am now. It's a long time ago. So, yeah. Context coming up to, let's just say, late October, November time now, I think, 2019. Came into contact with this girl. And we spoke, I think, in March 2019. I think there was like a group chat from the uni I went to. There was a group chat and... I think she was in there with two of her girls in another campus, which was like an hour away. So we never met. And I think I invited like three or four people I knew. I don't know, but we somehow, I was in a relationship and I think she was kind of like talking to someone or her ex, I don't know, issue girl. And I think we spoke on WhatsApp for a little bit. I can't remember. I think we spoke. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm not going to say the first encounter. I'm probably going to film this after. Have I done a therapy session on this? No, I haven't. Okay, so I'm going to film what happened when I first saw her after. But let's just say, skip to the point now where we know each other. Cool. Know each other. We're talking now. Very, very feminine. Very lovely. Very affectionate. Really appreciating of who I was as a man and everything like that. Really 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 nice girl really nice girl at the start (laughs) at the start and of course cut a long story short there was a mask on a very a mask that i never saw i'm really good at these things i'm really 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 good at reading people especially now even back then i was still right i was a complete bitch boy i was lost i was weak-minded i was vulnerable but in the 2019 like i still knew a few things better than most never saw this coming never really feminine chatting cool and i remember just seeing like just like always calling me on the way to uni kind of come and come and see me do that that was probably maybe a red flag straight away in it a lot of um very intense quite intense quite intense i remember there was even like a twitter group chat my boy joined my sister joined and stuff like that and i just remember like the, the smallest thing the smallest thing with this girl she like kick off I just could not control her emotions in the slightest. I remember there was like a 
I think we made a joke in some Twitter group chat time ago. <laughs> Look at my life spinning. That was probably back then I was spending eight hours a day on my phone like a degenerate, bruv. <laughs> something, something very small in it, man. Removed my sister, removed my boy and removed me. Like, or like blocked us all or something. I think it was a blocked. I remember even I was messing with her like as a joke as well. Very lighthearted. I'm very good at socials because on WhatsApp I got blocked. This very blocking, unblocking behaviour. I'm talking, okay, cool, it's been swimming for two weeks, I'm already getting blocked. In my head, I'm already thinking, already thinking, cool. Um, even unblocked after that, talked, oh, I'm sorry, whatever. A week, two weeks go by, blocked again. On WhatsApp, I, I never use WhatsApp like that anyway. So on WhatsApp, you know, when you can see their status online. Sitting there, this is the guy she's telling me she's proper like likes me and everything, gonna do things for me, whatever. Like, she got into my head, you know. She got into my head on WhatsApp. I'm bare like, oh, can I have a message back? Like, this was me. I was bare like waiting on a message, everything. Can you believe me? Oh, on a message online, she's not replying to me. It goes off WhatsApp. What? Why was I last seen this time? And my things this time. This is like, I was making myself ill, you know that. But of course, as I said, it was always really vulnerable. That was kind of what happened after. If we track back a little bit, and the purpose of this, of course, I'm going to speak about the whole event another time in much more detail, but I wanted to get engaged with her. <laughs> okay, so she's obviously... I think she lied about her ethnicity. Why is it all these Asians always lying about all, all your ethnicities? I think she was... She told me half Pakistani, half Bengali, but I think she might have been full Bengali, I think. You lot are weird, I don't know. That's why I'm off Asians, weird people. <laughs> Not all of you, relax. So, cool. Obviously, follows Islam, right? You know, if you're going to have sex or something, whatever, it have to be your husband, whatever. So I remember chatting to her. I remember, I think it was one time that sticks in my head, I was shaving my legs in the bathroom and she called me and of course there's me like oh 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 like i was basically i'm not gonna say a simp but i was really like vulnerable i was really confused i hardly did any introspection i was i was alarmed for the slaughter and she got in my head like a little one of those maggots and started really controlling everything like she, i don't know she's really good at these things or this, this type of energy she's done it before with guys i don't know but she, she had me as a sucker bruv the the, the looks the innocent girl she she played me a hundred percent. She 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 owned me, destroyed me, to the point where I'm there shaving my legs. They're cool. Oh, I definitely talked for a while. Oh, oh, it's like it's like when she would reach out to me. It's meant to be the other way when the man reach out to the woman. The girl girl it's just bitch boy, bro. Little bitch boy, bro. Anywho, g getting a call now, innit? I remember we're talking. And she was like, oh, I'm not gonna, I can't, like, date you. I, I, it was the point where I was basically, like, not begging, but, like, I really wanted to be in a relationship with her. <laughs> For a girl I met in, like, two or three weeks. And I was saying, I stand by this, this girl at the end, what happened, hurt me more than my whole ex, which is mad. Imagine, like, uh, six weeks, just under two months time period, compared to, like, 20 months, just under two years of your ex. I don't know. I was saying about this girl. She was, she was pretty, she wasn't really... She was alright, but it's just, I was fucking weak, bruv. Really, really weak. Cool, get the call now. Telling me she can only date me or whatever if we're going to be, like, engaged or something. Or we can only be in a relationship if we're going to be engaged or something. She's like, oh, you have to look into Islam as well for me and all of this. And I was like, of course, now I'd never. But back then I was like, yeah, I wouldn't mind, like, looking into it. Maybe I could learn a few. Some, some kappa, bruv. She was saying, like, she'll never have sex with me if we want together. Like, yeah, I wouldn't mind looking into <laughs> a little bitch way, man. Ah, oh, whatever. All right, cool. Relax. Relax. So, I know you're not judging me because, you know, you've probably been in worse situations, you lot. I know you weirdos being on webcam probably wanking to fantasizing a girl you've seen in the street that you never chatted to, you weirdos. <laughs> we, were, we were down bad at one moment, yeah? Cool. This was really low. So, yeah, telling me... Oh, um, we should get engaged. I was like, yeah, we should get engaged or something. No, dude, she said to me, we should have to be engaged. And I was like, oh, yeah, we, sh we should get engaged. Imagine me engaged. Are you a fucking drug? Man's telling me I'm not even going to take a girl seriously for the next 15 years. Imagine me engaged now. Imagine me married. 
<laughs> oh, where the fuck would I have been, man? I would have shot myself in the head. That's a nightmare, bro. That's a nightmare. Oh my lord, that's a catastrophe. But I was literally, I literally said the words. Yeah, what, my, I was telling my boy this as well, Rafi. I, I know you probably, uh, I don't know if you watch this, but <laughs> I know you probably remember this girl. And I was like, oh, I wouldn't mind getting engaged. Like, I think this guy roasted me a bit for that. I deserve it. But I was like, yeah, I wouldn't mind getting engaged, you know, like maybe after like university in the next year or two, like we could get engaged. Like like this was just fixated, this dream, like she just got in my head so nicely. I'm not someone weak, especially back then, but she played it really, really well. Hats off, man. Hats off. Never met someone like that. <sighs> but to the point where I was like, yeah, I'll be in, I wanna be I wouldn't mind being engaged with you. Like, I just can't imagine where my life would have been. That's not me. I'm not saying it just for something else. Like, what's it with to do with sex just to like have her as a girl, as as my girlfriend? And I remember, yeah, I remember my Crohn's was quite bad then, to the point where I wasn't taking medication and everything. So I was quite vulnerable. So I, she called me in it. She's like, "Oh, I'm going to cinema, my once. So you wanna come?" So I was like, "Yeah, like little puppy bit." Oh, what the fuck? This is cringe. Oh, the fuck? Oh, whatever. Shh. I, how many times like shh, relax how like, cool i don't care you lot not judging me the amount of times i'll create i'm gonna watch this edits like this idiot man called me in it like i'm going to cinema if it was in store or something i'm going to cinema or whatever did it do you see me about to shit myself like yeah I'll, I'll come and this was when my weight was at the lowest i was like 57 i was, like i lost so much weight i was fuck it. i was looking deaf in the face this was really bad time for me in the 2019 and then obviously 2020 and things started getting good. So you have to go through bad for things to get good. This is it, man. So called me. I said, I'm going to cinema, whatever. I can come running now. I'll go to the bus stop. Did they go and see her? Very weird. Very weird dynamic in terms of like, we would lips, but we wouldn't be together. But I think she like, she wanked me off a bit. I don't want to put things. Did she wank me off? She might have squeezed my dick. She never made me bust anything. Never blow a job, nothing. I sucked her breasts in the uni lift. Um, but yeah, there's basically a lot, a lot of kissing in it. So we would kiss, but we'd be friends. Where I would want something more, and she would like know that and like play on that essentially. Uh, I'm, I'm getting cringe again. I'm not gonna shh, relax. So <laughs> went to cinema. I remember, she said the n word as well in the cinema. What a scum! Why are you saying that for, huh? A racist bitch. <laughs> she said the N-word. She was like, oh, I was like, why do you say that? She's like, I just want to see your reaction. Shut up, man. Whatever. It was just like December. We stopped stopped speaking like very early January and anyway. snaked us, clocked it after, snaked it for real. I was like, it's, it's, me, it's me or her. I'm going to suffer and die if I don't get rid of this toxic leech. I snaked her anyways. Or sh mutual, whatever. Um, I remember we went to cinema. I'm just like kissing and stuff like that and i remember we came out i'll never forget this we came out and we kind of like kind of like what what are we one of those talks and i was like talking to her like what did you not want a date or something she like what did she say hmm, what did she say sure she did say yeah but she said sign on the lines of or oh, like maybe something i think she still liked her ex or something like that um she basically couldn't um just played me played me along really nice like gave me enough for me to still you know dangle the carrot a bit for me give me a few lipses and a few affections and oh i really care you care i really care and then pulled it back played it really well as i said but you know she didn't obviously say yeah to that um and she basically just said like yeah no or we'll see in time or just one of those game player type of vibes and that always stuck with me it was quite embarrassing we were outside the cinema and people were all coming out and she kind of like raised her voice a little bit and i just i just remember it now i can see it. i'm like on the side and i'm looking at her and she's like just looking at me but not really interested and then kind of shook that a family member's gonna see i don't know it's really weird but that was essentially the time i could have been engaged i wanted to be engaged with this <laughs> engaged <laughs> but I said engaged Are you on Disney oh. Engaged Engaged What like one woman forever yeah That's That basically means wife to be 
You're a fucking idiot. The way I'll punch you right now, I swear. You didn't want to do that. You just what you were just vulnerable and wanted someone, which is normal. And at least I can admit that. That's how the majority of people are now. And I was I was one of you lot back then. Back then I was one of you lot. The person watching this, I was exactly like you back then. The only difference is I experienced so much hardship and everything. I was like, fuck this, I don't wanna live like this anymore. I changed everything. I never looked back since, so I'm going to speak about events and everything in another therapy session, but that was essentially the time I, I, I could have been engaged, could have even been married. Imagine she said, yeah, like, imagine, like, could have gone down that path from what I've seen and not to slander, but like bad family, she was very mentally ill, I think. Yeah, I remember she cut herself, she told me stuff like not to say anything, that's a really bad thing, of course, wish her the best of that, but like, to play games like that and to be a disgusting person with a, with a mask on your face and to essentially leave me for dead. Last thing I'll say, I remember the second time she blocked me, I saw her at uni. I was getting anxiety about going uni in case I saw her. I was getting anxiety about uni in case I saw her. Can you believe? I saw her with a friend. Her friend's called, I'm not going to say her, her friend's name. <laughs> her friend was a rat. I think I don't know for a bit. What, what happened to her? I don't know. So with her friend, I was with my boy. She was crossing this way. Yeah, so just think about it like this. She was crossing this way, and I was crossing this way to go on the path where she was. So cross this way, that way. I was crossing this way, that way, that way, like but behind her. Saw her, and I was here. I think I might have said this before, so apologies, but I don't think I have. So she was here, I saw her. Bro, got meal deal with my boy, about to eat and everything, do some work. Saw her, legs like this, on my lap. My legs were like this. I couldn't even stand, bruv, I was shaking. I was like, oh my days, after everything in my life, after everything and what I said, this is the last straw with women. I was right, you know, after that moment, I was like, never again is a woman gonna have me like that. I was shaking, bruv. My legs were like this, and the, the worst thing about it was we went into the room after, me and my boy, and I, I couldn't eat. I lost my appetite, because I saw her, and it was complete hysteria, like complete panic. She blocked me, do I say anything? I don't want to be seen by her, oh, she's at my uni now, I'm going to see her. <sighs> to round this off, to round this off, to round this off, months went by. Self-improvement kicked in, everything. I can't remember the date off the top of my head. Give me a second to try and remember it. All I know is I finished an exam. I did really well. I was in a good flow state. I was on my ones. Six months, eight months later. So we're talking, yeah, August 2020, maybe. Was that not COVID? I think that was COVID. Not too sure. Maybe 2021. Maybe. I can't remember. Things went good. Might be, maybe early 2021. Because I, I was off uni, innit? We had to, I had to be at home. Whatever. Things went good. I was just walking. Guess who I see? I told my boy. I clocked all this after. A lot of reflection. Everything. I was like, fuck. This girl left me for dead. And she, I remember she tried to chat to my boy to make me jealous. Toxic bitch. I'm so, sorry to say the bitch word. I'm really respectful, but this girl is really bad. Not a nice person at all. I'm so, you know, for me to come on camera and say you're not a nice person, you must have been some sort of next level prick. Not a nice girl. Not a nice, I hate people like that. I don't hate anyone. I don't like characteristics like that. Walking, I see her. I said to my boy, you know, when I see this girl, what do I say to her next time? What do I say? I said it again. Every, like every two months, three months. I'm going to see her one day. What do I say to her? On my boy, on FaceTime to my boy, coming out of uni, she was coming in. She saw me. Hey, Ki oh, hey, Kiri. Giving me all this. I was like, I was like, you're it. I remember now. I remember. I remember. She said, I got one of my boys to follow her on, on Insta. And she said, oh, do you know... Oh, why did someone follow me? That's how I remember. So that means I released a podcast. And I remember she called me. So that means when my first podcast was released, it was August, It was October 2020. I was right. <laughs> I remember. She said, so I said, said, oh, hey, Kiri. I was like, I looked at her like, hmm? are you right? She's like, 
Oh, um, I don't know if you mind me saying. I'm not gonna say just in case, but oh, you know your boy followed me. I was like, oh. She's like, oh. I was like, okay. Just like really like not even like that. I'm like, yeah. Okay, why? Uh, <laughs> something like that, and then she was like, um, oh yeah, um, he followed me on Instagram. I was like, so why are you telling me? Like proper like this, like why are you telling me? Like really like borderline rude, like this face of disgust. She's like, well, why did I, I cut her off? I don't care. But I I literally said to her, I remember these words. I don't know what you're talking about, and I don't care about what you're talking about. Something like that. I don't care what you're talking about. I don't, it's like, I don't know what you're talking about And I don't care That's what I said She looked at me like Oh I was like This bitch wants to come to me After nine months Trying to leave me Left me for dead And act like we're calm Are you right? She was just on the side I remember it was raining She was just looking at me like and Her face I'll never forget in my whole life Her face was like She was like Just thinking Who the fuck is this guy? Like Yeah bro Yeah B I changed you left me for then, I came back stronger. I was so vulnerable. I was vulnerable. Anything could have happened to me, I was so vulnerable. And I'm so grateful. Because that was the catalyst for change. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Bet you want to be in my life now, uh, I might, I might G and beat once. Nah, she's not going to let me. Oh, fuck her. I don't want that anyway. But, yeah, she looked at me. It's like, what the hell? And I'll never forget, I looked at her. I, looked, I said, are you done? She's like, but I just walked off. Because <sighs> I told him, time, when I see her, when I see her, when I see her, it's going to come one day. It's coming one day. It's coming one day. It came. You know what happened? I performed. I'm a man of my word. <laughs> That's done. If you want to fix your life today or have access to my free self-improvement guide, all links will be down below.